In this video, I will walk you through the installation and configuration of Visual Studio 2015. I am assuming that you have downloaded the Bootstrap installer, so let's see how we can proceed on from that point. Okay, so now that we successfully downloaded the Bootstrap installer, let's click on it so that we can launch it. And at this point, we can close the browser because we don't need it anymore. So now as the installer is getting ready to start, I will wait a little bit. All right, so now it's launching. By default here, it says it needs up to 7 GB of disk space. I'm not going to pick the default. I will choose custom so I can pick and choose what I want to install. Now hit next. From this one here, I'm going to expand programming languages. I definitely want C++. I personally want to add more stuff here because I use Visual Studio as my main development tool. So I will pick Python as I want it, Windows and Web Development. I also want to use SQL, Click Once, and PowerShell stuff. Universal Windows Apps. I'm going to click on that as well. Scroll down, Common Tools, Cross Platform. All that stuff you don't have to actually choose. It is completely up to you what you want and what you need. Just make sure as you click and select these things that you have enough disk space and that you are okay with the amount of space needed. In this case, it's going to take up to 36 gigabyte to install everything, which is fine with me. Like I said, I use Visual Studio a lot, so I'm going to keep it as this. Now I'm going to hit next to start the installation process. On this page, it's just showing you what will be installed. Fine with me, so I'm going to click install. It's now prompting me for elevated privileges here. So I'm going to click yes and let it start. I think it's going to take some time. It may take me 30 minutes to an hour if not more. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done and come back later to continue afterwards. Okay, setup is now complete, but it's asking me to reboot my machine. At this point, we're done with the installation process, so I'm going to reboot and then next, we can look at how we can launch and configure Visual Studio for the first time. Okay, now depending on your version of Windows, you should be able to search for Visual Studio and find it. I'm using Windows 8 here, so I'm going to search for Visual Studio. I get two hits here. The first one is Visual Studio 2015, so I'm going to click on it to launch it. I also want to pin this to my taskbar as a shortcut for future use. All right. So it's asking me to sign in now. You can sign up and create an account so you can use it for things like Windows Azure and Git repository as a source control management for your code. Right now, I'm not going to do any of that. So I'm going to click on not now, maybe later. Now, this is where you get to choose your preferences. Of course, you can skip this for now. You can always change it in the future from within Visual Studio if you want to. For me, this is the best time to set my preferences. So for the most part, I'm going to choose Visual C++ as my development settings. Then, as you can see, Visual Studio has three different color themes. My favorite happens to be the dark theme. The default is blue, which is what most people use. But for me personally, after using computers over 20 years with editors and staring at the screen, I feel that the dark theme and the black background is a lot easier on my eyes, and that's why I like this option. I am going to click on Start Visual Studio now, and it's going to prepare it for first time use, as you can see. Okay, so now it's done preparation and this is how it looks like with the dark theme that I picked. If you don't like the dark theme and you want to change it, you can go to Tools menu 
and click on options then click on general from the left and this is where you get to change that again as you can see it's the same color themes that we saw blue dark and light so you can come here at any time and change this I'm not going to change it because this is what I want this is pretty much it and we're now done with setup and installation of Visual Studio now I can close it and since I have the icon pinned to my taskbar I can launch it again and again at any time I want to now we're ready to use Visual Studio and start learning to code with it.